Welcome to iWire, a game to map the brain. This tutorial will show you how to play and navigate the game interface. Step 1. Visit iWire.org. You can sign up with Facebook or your email address. When you log in, you'll see a neuron rotating and chat in the bottom left-hand corner. Say hello! The neuron is interactive, so you can click and drag to rotate it around, or you can scroll to zoom in and out. This neuron, along with many others, is actively being mapped by people like you playing iWire from all over the world. Join in by clicking Start Playing. This will zoom you into iWire's active gameplay interface. On the left-hand side, you see an interactive cube. This is a tiny volume of real brain. A neuron branch has grown through it. Now your challenge in iWire is to map that branch, seen here in blue, from one side of the cube to the other. You do that by clicking to color inside the lines. As you scroll through, you're looking for a blue part that's partially colored in. With one click, you're able to add a volume, and this volume is actually a piece of a neuron branch. So as you see, I'm scrolling through. The plane on the left-hand side is moving through the cube, and on the right-hand side, I'm seeing the cross-sections of the branch that I'm trying to map. So what I'm looking for is actually places inside these gray lines that have not been colored in. Now the gray lines are actually the edges of a branch of a neuron, the dendrites, that we've stained gray so that you're actually able to see them. So as you continue scrolling through, you want to make sure that the branches are complete all the way to the edges of the cube. You want to look for uh, jagged edges because neurons don't have jagged edges, they're very smooth. Uh, and you want to check all the little nubs in your, in your branching, if there are any nubs, and make sure that they actually end or look for little pieces where they might continue. It's generally a good idea to scroll through one final time. Uh, you can click in the cube to take the plane to any location. Uh, and when you are done, when you think you've found all the pieces, click I'm finished. That will submit your cube uh, and you'll be awarded points based on how long it took you, how much volume you added, and how much that volume agreed with other players. After you click proceed, iWire will fly you forward to another cube. There are a few additional ways that you can explore iWire's interface. One of the coolest ones is 3D interactive neurons. If you click the gray Change Cell button right beneath Start Playing, iWire pops up a list of active cells that are currently being mapped and completed cells. You can click Explore to the right of any of these and you can zoom in, zoom out, pan around, look for synapses. Another cool thing about iWire is chat. It's far more than a way to talk with the other players online. It's actually interactive. So you can click on any player's username and check out their profile. It shows things like points, cubes, and trailblazes. It also shows accuracy, an important metric in iWire that's updated every Monday. Your profile also shows achievement icons, like the hacker badge you see here. If you click on any of those icons, it'll take you to the achievements panel in your profile. Achievements come in several different categories. As you click through them, you might notice that some are themed on various neuroscientific achievements throughout the course of human history. You can also scroll through the achievements to see more. But that's another player's profile. You might want to see yours. You can do that by clicking on your username in the top right-hand corner of iWire. You can exit a profile at any time by simply clicking outside the box. That covers the basics. Stay tuned for more advanced tutorials, and we'll see you online at iWire.org.